with shooting having such a learning curve so far this year and this being an option to shoot now, badges have become a must. So with that, I'm going to go over the top five shooting badges that you must have for your my player in NBA 2K21. So all right, let's get it. Coming in at number five is Deadeye. Now the Deadeye badge decreases the penalty on shots contested by a defender at the last second. But what happens when the contest system in NBA 2K21 kind of sucks? You end up at number five, that's what. The whole purpose of this badge is to help you out and boost your chances of hitting more slightly contested shots when a defender sneaks in there at the last moment. So you don't want to have this go unchecked for the times it does pop up, which I have benefited from at least once a game. And this badge should be necessary for all play shots and sharpshooters. A defender is always going to sneak in there at the last second that you didn't expect and this badge's whole purpose is to basically erase that from your shooter's sight, so you're less likely to receive a penalty from them getting an arm in there. What was awesome about this badge last year was it helped poor and good shooters alike by increasing their odds of greening their shots. Next up at number 4 is the badge that is absolutely necessary for you to fulfill your true destiny as a sniper in 2K21 and that's Range Extender. There's no other badge that can give you the Steph Curry, Dame Lillard range like this one. Without it, you could be perfectly fine, but any offense you play on, you and them will be better for it with you having this badge as high as possible, as it opens up a lot of other things when your opponent has to worry about you launching from the locker room. The badge gives a boost to all types of shooters from normal, deep range, and inside the arc, but obviously really shining for the better shooters the further out you go forcing opponents to really respect your button press and stick aiming skills. Coming in at number 3 is the catch and shoot badge. Now from the player I created, I know I'm not going to be the point guard majority of the games I play online and won't get the ball passed to me if I try and play point when I'm not. So I know my role with this build and it's to be off ball. So the first badge I went and put on them was catch and shoot. And the first badge you should equip as well, if majority of your shots are going to be of the catch and shoot variety, as you're not going to hit as consistently without it. If you ever guarding somebody and it seems like they're hitting everything when you give them a sliver of daylight, odds are they have catch and shoot on as high as possible. It's not higher on the list because guys who handle the ball majority of the time won't find use, especially on the higher tiers, unless they have badge points to spare. But you can live with this on a lower setting. I've gone between Gold and Hall of Fame with this badge a couple of times and I haven't noticed too big of a difference yet so far, but once I got it on Gold was when I noticed the biggest improvement, and that was before I established all my hot zones, as I started hitting a good portion of my threes consistently, just getting my catch and shoot badge situated. So this is a must have even for the lower rated guys. At 2 is Flexible Release. With the difficulties of shooting this year, word around the internet was, hey yo, flex release is kind of good this year. And with the changes to the shot meters and the nerf to lower rated shooters being able to green as consistently as high rated guys, flex release works magic and kind of been a cheat so far, as it activates on any non-excellent release shot, which let's be real, is a lot more than in recent years. <laughs> Flexible release aims to help those who consistently live on slightly early and late boulevard whether you shoot with the stick or button, meter on or off. But I feel having this while using the stick and the boost you already get from that is worth it to get the hang of it. If you have a high enough 3 point rating to consistently green, I wouldn't put this level as high. But if you don't know your jumper yet or have a lower rated shooter, you should definitely go higher. But again, this helps you out especially if you aim with the stick. And coming in at number one on Sports Gamers Online, top five must-have badges for NBA 2K21, it goes without saying, is Hot Zone Hunter, which is a lock for must-have badges if you're able to get hot zones on your court. A lot of things went into making this badge such a necessity, with the increased effectiveness in hot zones this year, which according to 2K Labs, helps you even if you miss time your jumper. So having Hot Zone Hunter go with it just makes sense. So with the increased importance of Hot Zones, it's important for you to develop them as quickly as possible to receive the ridiculous boost from shooting in them and slapping on Hot Zone Hunter to further boost you up. And also don't be scared if you develop a cold spot somewhere as you won't receive much of a penalty shooting in them opposed to a neutral spot. And the higher your rating is, the more you will benefit from shooting in your Hot Zones. Your make percentage jumped from 15 to 20% going no badge to Hall of Fame last year, and this year once you hit gold seems to be when all the fun starts, 
and I saw the biggest jump in my shooting after I had my hot zones acquired. I was hitting so much from the corner that I had to force myself out of there to get some other hot zones worked on. Now for those who don't know, your hot zones are mode specific, so the zones you develop on pro in my career will not carry over to the beach and rec. You have to get your own hot zones in each mode, and once you do, be amazed at the jump and shooting your player will receive. With moving shots being so effective right now, the difficult shots badge stock price has soared in the first month of 2K and has become a pretty important badge so far. Now the reason I didn't list it is because it all depends on the patch and how much it will nerf moving fades and how the badge goes with it to limit all the fading nonsense. So this is definitely one badge to be on the lookout for for the rest of the year. Well here's the overall rotation of badges that I've been using so far. Catch and shoot, obviously, on at least gold. Clutch shooter, I don't have anything on this at the moment. I hit a game winner the other day for three, so I don't know. I think that clip is in a video somewhere. Corner specialist was just outside my list, but like last year, I feel Hot Zone Hunter replaces corner specialist, but I do have this on silver. Dead eye, yes. Deep phase, I have yet to play with a guy who would need this, so I can't speak on it. Difficult shots, patch dependent, but as of now, yes. Flexible release, yes. Green Machine, a lot of people swear by this, and it's another one I almost put in the top five. Hot Start, no. Hot Zone Hunter, yes. Ice in Veins, no, especially if you're a park player. Pick and Popper, another big man shooting badge that I can't speak on as of right now. Slippery Off Ball, I found no use for at the moment. And then we got Volume Shooter. I would use this if I run Park more solely from its description, but as of now, no. And Steady Shooter. I still am not a fan of badges that ding you for certain things, so that's a no for me, dog. All the badges I personally like, you would need about 32 shooting points to put all of them on Hall of Fame. But I'll definitely be tinkering with the tiers more. It's just so far Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, Flexible Release, Hot Zone Hunter, and Range Extender, not as much as the other four, but has come up valuable a few times on my go-tos so far in 2K21. And the five are most comfortable putting on Hall of Fame. If you're more catch and shoot, put that badge up as soon as you can, and if you're not, get those hot zones up to code. So with that, I hope I was able to help you guys out new to NBA 2K21, and for those who are still searching for the right shooting badge combo, hopefully I put you in the right direction. But let me know in the comments down below, what has been your favorite shooting badge so far this year? And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching, and be good y'all.